Hey guys, okay, I think I might have figured out this uh, IBM um, M, what, X3300 um, uh, RAID issue. Um, so I found these instructions here, and I'm going to save this. I just uh, Googled repair RAID disk IBM X3300. There's a YouTube video that showed up, but we can disregard that if you want to watch it. Basically, uh, I know it's from 2021, but I think it's similar instructions, and I followed the instructions. Um, so I uh, I powered on my um, my IBM the the box number one, um, and I did it on uh, VM Win 7-2 because I had to get Java, whatever Java version, this Java version here. So uh, when I powered it on, the first thing it said was to um, you know press F1. F1 is a key thing. That's what I was kind of getting hung up on because I didn't know where to go to uh, set up the RAID. So it looks like it's F1. You get to set up. You get to set up system settings. You get to storage. And then you see the RAID controller. Okay, so I did that. Um, system settings is there. And then storage is right here all right so then this is right so now this is another place where i got confused at let me see what updates it wants so here's another thing i got confused at so it looks like there's two radar um controllers here there's this one and there's this one so i was under the impression because if you remember, this box um, has a, there's a 135 gig drive, and then there's the other like four terabyte drive. So I was under the impression that the 135 gig, 150 gig, whatever you want to call it, C drive is on this controller, and that the four terabyte was on this controller. So I went to this controller, the second one, and then in the instructions it says to go to drive management. Under drive management, you're supposed to uh, see some stuff here, the, but it's all grayed out. So, which means to tell me that this controller, apparently, if I go to controller management, I don't see anything there. I go to virtual drive management, I don't, everything's grayed out. You're supposed to be able to go to create configuration, but everything's grayed out. Which means to tell me that there doesn't appear to be anything tied to this controller. Whatever. So I go to controller number one. And here I go to drive management. Now I see all my drives. Now I see the 135 gigs. And then on top of that, let me go back to the top. Okay, so I see the 135 gigs. So I already made some changes. So that's why you kind of see it online. But before this was saying... Um, I think this drive, this drive here was healthy, or uh, what did it say? It said uh, good or something like that, but unconfigured. I think it said unconfigured good. Then, um, yeah, this one says unconfigured good online. Okay, this one says unconfigured bad. This one says online, online. So there's a, there's a couple of drives here that are, uh, that are bad. And if you remember, um, or initially when we click on one of them um, and we get to select operation, um, it's probably not going to say it here because this is good, but there was like a start initialize or something like that, and that's when the one that took like uh, freaking like three days, a week or something like that. Anyways, but anyway, so what I did with these drives here that were, uh, that whenever they said, uh, they were listed either at, as either unconfigured good or unconfigured bad. So what I did was I went back to configuration management. Yeah, I think it was configuration or controller management. Uh, this one says needs attention. I don't know what. That's all about. Is it virtual drive management? Okay, there is 
There's a my address, so VG1 and VG2. Okay, this one says optimal, so that's good. That's one of the things that um, the instructions had said. Like if it says optimal, uh, yeah, does the, does the status have an optimal value? Yes, so then you, you're done. Um, so both of these have optimal, which is good. So I go back. So I think it was, um, I think it was configure management. Under configure management, because I already did this, it was there was an option to um, create new uh, configuration or create new array. That's what you want. Once you hit that, then it's going to show you the, um, the drives that are available to create a new array. Uh, and it gives, first it's going to give you the option, do you want to create a RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID, or RAID 5? There's a RAID 6 option, but it's grayed out. So initially I was going to do RAID 5, um, and I think it took my, store, my space from like 4 terabytes, it took it down to like 2 terabytes. Um, and then I, I tried to apply that, it didn't work. So then I went back, I just made it a RAID 0, that's what took me to 4 terabytes, and I applied that and it worked. So that's what you see here. So I've done all that, I've done all that. So under our controller management, no, not this one, under our configuration management, we see that one. And then that one. Um, this one is not secured, it's not protected. If you ever want to turn that on, I might recommend turning it on. You don't want to clear, I don't want to manage any foreign configuration. I guess that's if another drive gets into, added to the mix, but we won't worry about that right now. But what am I looking for? Okay, yeah, it's virtual drive management. So virtual drive management is where it says whether it's, it's uh, everything is legit. So with that being said, I'm going to escape, escape, and I'm going to save settings, and I'm going to exit setup. And we're going to press Y. All right, so now this should reboot. If I go to my Hyper-V core, it's still waiting to connect. All right, looks like it's rebooting here. So I'm gonna save all this documentation and stuff. Cause this was, and I hopefully, all right, so it's booting back into Windows. Great. So hopefully, uh... All right, so now if we go to Hyper-V Core, there we are. Great. Let's hit OK on that. Come on. Uh, I, need to, I thought I already logged in. Reconnect. Alright, perfect. Great, great. So we will exit the command line. Alright, and now we'll go to uh, this part. Yes, yes. Finally, there they are. There's my, there's my uh, VM. Oh my goodness! I guys, I've been working on this for like two months. All right, so there's my disk. If I go to exit, uh, let's go Notepad. File, open, this PC. Okay, so it's not listed there. So I think I might need to go to, uh, okay. You can go to disk management. We'll do that in just a second. Let me go to uh, PowerShell. I probably could do this through PowerShell, but 
I want to do it through the GUI. Uh, we're going to get disk. There's my disk. Oh, because it's raw. That's why I can't see it. All right. And then get physical disk. All right, cool. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the video here. Um, I think we covered a majority of uh, what needs to be done. Uh, we, uh, once you uh, take care of everything in the BIOS, um, then um, and you load your uh, your operating system, uh, you should be able to see those discs um, in your operating system, and then you can um, use a uh, disk part or uh, uh, PowerShell uh, commands to. Um, to get those discs online, um, if they have any read-write issues or, pa or password protected or anything like that, you can uh, run the command to clear the attributes. Uh, I guess this part does that one. But um, I'll go ahead and end the video here. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys another one. Take care. Bye.